Hey, hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, web application penetration testing. So, what is meant by web application penetration testing? The basic question we have in our minds. Uh, uh, we are not sure what it is. So, we, today we will know what it what the web application pen testing and what it, how the web application works and all we can check today in this video. So, basically, what is meant by web PT, web application penetration testing? In the sense, like we are testing the security of the uh, web application. So whatever the website which you are visiting so it consists of a url right so let's say there will be a gmail address so we are there is a this is called url mail.google.com it is a subdomain of the google okay and in this url we can check anything we want uh, like uh, we can check, check for the security vulnerabilities in that uh, in this website so basically how this gmail work uh, what is the back end of this gmail so we need to know that thing before uh, starting webpst so how this will work means there is a server in the back end which see which can say let's say this is a server okay and there will be a client number of clients will be there so clients means uh, we who are accessing that application all these were clients okay this is a server and we call it client client so we are accessing this application through our web browser okay we call it as a client these are all the normal our systems we are accessing those applications like those urls web applications from that server so this server consists of a code so source code we call it as a source code is running here so this source code uh, is running in the server which makes uh, which makes the uh, application is available to us clients so when we if we check this gmail this gmail contains some source code to run that so that will be running in the server and uh, because of that only we are getting that applications if there is no code running in the server if that if sometimes uh, uh, that code will crash that means server is crashed uh, we are we, say we are uh, normally we are hearing from uh, any of the websites or maybe sometimes from the banks we will get the message like server is under maintenance at that time what they will be doing means they will be patching this uh, server uh, source code or server uh, vulnerabilities whatever the vulnerabilities may be the maybe in the code or maybe in the uh, or maybe in the network whatever the vulnerabilities which they have found recently they will be patching that moment the server is under maintenance the server majorly contains the source code of the web application since the code is running in the web application so we are able to access that uh, website from the from our uh, local machine okay we are getting that thing from this uh, from client to server and server to client uh, vice versa we, uh, we will be able to communicate with the server also client will communicate to the server and server will communicate with the client there will, there will be uh, a connection between the client and server the SH, SH, secure established connection will be established between the client and server okay uh, this is called as a through three way handshake and uh, tls handshake with that, there is a mechanism for uh, uh, for establishing a connection we'll discuss in another video so but for, uh, for this video a web application in the sense like the, this is the application which is running in the server uh, we are able to access through our uh, normal browser okay so in this application what we will check for that like so basically when it comes to the web PT, there will be a three types of the uh, applications let's say in the web PT, let me open another one. Okay. Uh, there will be three types of web applications. Let's say types of web application. Types of okay. Types of web PD. So in that web PD, majorly we will having a uh, three types of one is black. One is black box testing, and second one is gray box testing. And the third one is 
white box test so what this black box testing in the sense in the black box testing we will be having only url of the application we will usually get the url of the application only and we do not have any sort of login credentials and all so we will just see, get an url and we will check uh, test on that url which is called as the black box testing only url we will get and when it comes to the gray box testing we will get url along with credentials along with credentials those credentials may be a normal user uh, different types of credentials we may receive a normal user credential normal user credential or admin user or maybe if it has some super admin credentials like that there will be multiple types of users uh, we'll be getting getting the different types of users or if that application can use only one user uh, which is a normal user we'll get uh, the credentials of that normal user only so this is called as a gray box so in this gray box we'll get you'll be getting the partial information related to the application only not full information we are getting the partial information okay we are getting only partial information so when it comes to the white box testing in the sense like we'll get everything everything in the sense like we'll get a url of the application we'll be having our credentials and We'll be having the source code source code everything we'll have everything in our hands so using that we will be able to we'll be testing that so compared to the uh, all testings we'll be able to, easily able to figure out where the vulnerability is using the white box white box is very easy because code and all everything is in your hands you can easily scan the code you can easily find out the vulnerability where where the exact at what exact line you know what page the vulnerability lies uh, and what page the input is taking without unvalidated input is taking from the user and all. you can easily check in the white box testing when it comes to the gray box testing and black box testing or not like that so in this thing we manually need to check each and every parameter each and every request which is going to the server and we you need to analyze what are the parameters which is going which are going to the server uh, and we need which which parameters can be tampered by the user and which parameters can be exploited by the attacker and all we can we need to check manually one by one so this is how we web application pen testing usually uh, happens so uh, what is the regular basic procedure of uh, conducting a web application in an organization in the sense like uh, let's say uh, you are working in an organization so uh, first there will be a pre-filling meeting So uh, we'll call it as a pre-filling meeting. First step, okay. Uh, first pre-filling meeting in the sense like we'll be having a meeting with the client. So uh, client will explain what are the scope, what is the scope, what are what, what are the URLs which you need to check and all. So like basically that whether it is a black box, gray box, or white box, it will be decided in the pre-filling meeting itself. Whatever the requirements you need, uh, you will be provided with those details in the pre-filling meeting. And second phase like you will be testing. You will be uh, performing the manual penetration testing, or maybe using some automated tools, whatever the things you are you are using. Uh, all the things you will be getting, and thirdly, you will be preparing a report. Uh, in some organizations, they will be providing a report in the Excel sheet, and some organizations they will be providing a report in the document format. Uh, the different uh, definitely there is a no, not a particular. Uh, uh, we cannot select particularly we will provide in this way so depending on the organized to organization uh, it will vary and uh, finally like uh, after preparing the report we'll share that report with the customer after preparing that uh, uh, sharing that report with the customer we'll be giving a walkthrough walkthrough in the sense like uh, uh, we'll be giving a uh, uh, overall uh, idea about what we have found out uh, what are the vulnerabilities which, uh, which we have found in your application 
how we need to fix that thing and all we need to explain to the customer and after that if the customer uh, if the customer accept that vulnerability and if gives a uh, satisfied answer you may be able to close that one uh, like there will be a multiple things in the uh, while handling the customers so it will i'll explain those things in a different video so basically after walk through they will fix uh, they will take that uh, vulnerabilities and uh, they will fix it and after fixing it there may be a chance of uh, they, they will come back again they will come back again for a retesting retesting or not so retesting in the sense retesting what we will do in the retesting in the sense we will again check for the uh, vulnerabilities which we have um, uh, which we have reported whether they are fixed or not we will check all the all the vulnerabilities uh, maybe well, if, let's say we have found a 10 vulnerabilities and which we have reported to the customer and we if they came to the retesting we'll check those two, 10 vulnerabilities whether they are fixed or not if they are fixed okay uh, we'll mention it as a fixed or closed there are no vulnerabilities if they are not fixed we'll just say that it is uh, will uh, provide the report as a these vulnerabilities are not fixed those are the open vulnerabilities like that we will be providing the report so this is how basically the web page will be going on so if you have any doubts please uh, feel free to comment uh, in your in the comment section i'll answer thank you all